Now this is the true life tale directed and written by Peter Ness about German and English soldiers who in 1940 are engaged in a dogfight over the frozen tundra of Norway and they shoot each other down. Who are you? Our aircraft was shot down. We've been shot down too. Come in. A hunting cabin I you. Room for everyone. I don't suppose there's any chance of a spot of tea. What I love most about Into the White is that it might as well have been a play starring five guys, two of whom are English, one of whom you might recognize, Rupert Grint. What makes you think you've got the right to invade everyone? Maybe we're just like you? This is about guys who don't want to fight each other, but are forced to because the guys, you know, in charge told them they had to shoot at each other. You're prisoners of the Third Reich, is that clear? Short, but to the point, sir. Now, there is one German soldier who does believe that this is his true cause. He was raised in an orphanage, carries around a signed copy of Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf, and believed for a time that Adolf Hitler was, in fact, his father. Do you really want to disobey your leader? But even he finds that the British soldiers are more like him than not, which is what makes this such a profound and powerful tale. Why can't we talk like civilized people? We refuse to eat off the floor. Enjoy. Annoy them any way you can. Provoke them. For the first 30 minutes, well, it feels like you've been watching the film for about five. It's just soldiers looking for some place to keep warm. Peter Ness tells this story so wonderfully that it just engages you. It draws you in. You are, in fact, freezing by the end of it. There's nothing to eat. Have you seen the weather? For God's sake, man, this is untamed wilderness. Let's face it, we're all going to die here. Peter Ness is a skilled filmmaker who gets remarkable performances out of every single one of his actors. So don't miss Into the White. There rules a war. We've been struggling to survive. Into the White. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters April 12th. Thank you.